Hello everyone, this is Cherpo. I finally have some free time, so I thought I'd make a GIMP tutorial uh, for the use of layers for coloring and highlighting an image. Okay, let's start with GIMP. Here we have it. And let's create a new image. Make sure you have a large enough image so you don't run out of space while drawing. Okay, 100% zoom. And on the right hand side we see the default layer named background. But um, I tend to use multiple layers, so let's go and create a new layer. I'll name it uh, Drawn like so. And uh, for this tutorial I'm going to use a mouse freehand ink drawing so everyone should be able to follow the tutorial even if they don't have a ta tablet attached to their PC. And um, I'm just going to let my imagination fly and uh, create some kind of strange looking fruit like this. Who knows what it is, but like so. Looks kind of gross, actually. That was not the intention. Okay, we have the ink. Next, we're going to add some colors. Um, begin by creating yet another layer. I'll name it color. And now we can just uh, pick a color. I'm going to use, uh, let's say, greenish, yellowish. Something like this. A little larger brush. Harder on the edge and just draw over the whole thing. As you can see it completely hit the ink trail. But the benefit of layers now is that we can simply mouse drag the ink layer over the color and it'll show nicely over the color. Same style you can also, uh, if you have a scanned image for example you have drawn a paper image and scanned it on your computer. You can uh, color over it by using uh, multiply mix mode. So you don't have to try to evade the lines there. But for this tutorial I'm going to use the normal mix mode and simply move the drawn layer over the color one. Next I'm going to erase the excess color here. It's the simple hand eye coordination. This could probably be done automatically with the magic wand and little tweaking, but it's a good uh, training for me to draw with the hand. After all, I haven't drawn in a while. Uh, don't be afraid of mistakes like this one. You can fix them later. Okay, now fixing this. Just switching back to paintbrush and then I'm using the control color picker to pick this color and just draw it back on. Okay, next I'm going to pick a second color, something reddish, brownish for these leaves. Just something simple. I have the brush size set to my mouse wheel so it's easy to control on 
on the fly, but you can of course use your default controls. It's no matter. Got to erase a little bit from here. Maybe here. Okay. Maybe a little from here. And from here. And from here. Okay, that's enough. Almost. Like so. Okay, we have the base colors. Next we could add a new color layer. Um, that would add some variation to the base color. I'm going to name it Splatter. And just like on the color layer, let's use the normal mode. I'm going to put in a little red color. A little dark red. I'm going to use a brush that's a little softer on the edge. And also I'm going to decrease the opacity of this brush to, let's say, 20%. And then just add some splatter here and there. After all, in the real world, nothing is perfect. So there's some splat here and there. Who knows where these have come, but... Maybe a little larger brush. A little gradient here. Like so. Okay, going to soften it with the eraser a bit. Just to take out the like so, and also from the branches a second secondary color. To make things more interesting. All right. Now we could add some highlights. Um, another layer. It is this one's lighting. And for the lighting, I typically use uh, black and white colors. You can use uh, colored lighting also. I can show that in a while. But uh, for now let's use white. And I choose a light direction to be somewhere on the top left. So it would hit most here. And also here. Just like so. Little roundness here. The highlights and shadows really add dimension to a picture. So they make the two-dimensional flat surface seem like it had depth. 